Okay, so it looks like Epic Games really, really wants you to move on over from other platforms and use their platforms, or at the very least, give their platform a chance. If you guys haven't realized, and I'm sure all of you guys have realized, they've been doing a lot of various things to win over PC gamers and get PC gamers to use their platform. I shouldn't really say win over PC gamers. I mean, acquiring a lot of these exclusives is really pushing people away. However, obviously, exclusives have been a big part of their model in getting the Epic Game Store off the ground. However, another big part of their game plan and getting people over to the Epic Game Store is offering free games for the consumer for no cost. Now, obviously, the idea is, at the very least, you'll get the Epic Game Store downloaded on your platform, you'll browse the store, you'll add these games to your library, and hopefully, with you invested into the Epic Game Store ecosystem, this will then, in turn, make you have the idea of buying other games, check out the game store itself, check out all of the exclusive offerings, whatever the case may be. Now, it initially started at the beginning of the year, and they were offering free games every two weeks. Then they did that Epic Game Store mega sale, and and they changed it for the duration of that sale to offer games every week. And that's great. I thought, hey, if you're going to do a big sale like that, offering a free game every week is a great incentive. That's something I was actually touting for other platforms to do. I think if you're going to be doing these sales, there's ways to shake them up and make your sale a little bit different. And I'm going to cover Green Man Gaming's latest summer sale in a future video, but it looks like they've really got the right idea. And I'd like other e-tailers to follow in suit. Now, Steam is doing some different stuff as well. I thought what they did with the summer sale was a little bit jarring, but it's going to be a little bit of a trial and error, but for Epic Game Store to offer a free game every week, that is pretty great. And even if you do hate Epic Game Store, how can you hate on a free game offering every week? Now, I don't agree with everything Epic Game Store is doing. If you watch my videos, you hear me complain about EGS quite often with things that they've done like Shenmue 3 and acquiring games to be exclusive that have been promoted on Steam, you guys get the idea. But free games are free games, and that's something I'll definitely take advantage of. And we've gotten some great free games. I point to you guys like Super Meat Boy, Transistor was a freebie, and this week Limbo is a freebie. But they've also recently changed it. Remember that it was supposed to be a free game every week just for the duration of the Mega Sale. They've changed it, so now they're offering a free game every week. I don't even know if they announced that, if they did a formal announcement, but I just noticed that that started happening, where they were just offering free games every week so limbo is free right now and there's gonna be free game offerings next week as well but epic is raising the bar once again they're gonna be offering free games yes plural because they will be offering two games for free next week now i don't know if this is gonna be a regular thing but epic games is really trying to win people over is this gonna win people over honestly speaking i don't think so i think the people that have already been off put by the epic game store if you haven't been convinced by the free game offerings and all of the exclusives that they're offering at this point is an additional free game really gonna change the story any much more. And the issue with this is the more and more you do this, the more and more diminishing returns it's going to have. The majority of people, if they had interest in EGS, they're going to jump on board if you offer one free game. And that being one free game after every two weeks, that's what they initially did. Then they did a free game every week. Okay, that might win some people over, but at this point you're getting some diminishing returns and you're investing more and more to offer these free games because I'm telling you a play dead is not giving out limbo for free on the Epic Game Store for free on their end. Epic Games is paying them some sort of compensation. I don't know what that number is. Maybe it's $100,000. Maybe it's $200,000. Maybe it's a number astronomically higher than that. Maybe it's a number astronomically lower than that. I don't really know. I don't have access to those numbers. But there is definitely some sort of transaction going on for Epic Games to offer you these free games and they're taking the hit up front. But they're doing this hopefully to increase the their play longevity wise so people are invested into the EGS ecosystem or whatever the case may be they're just trying to get you on board so you start buying games as well and the free games is kind of like that bait now I'll take that bait I'll take the free games and I won't buy anything off the Epic Game Store I think a lot of people are in that similar boat or you're in the boat of you don't even want the free games and you already have a significant backlog on all of the other platforms that yeah a free copy of Limbo it's cool but I already own that game and I own another three or four hundred games on Steam on Origin on YouTube play whatever the case may be that even a little free game offering is not going to get me invested into this ecosystem but now what they're doing is that they're going to be offering two free games next week those two free games being moonlighter which is a game that was a part of humble monthly i believe pretty recently and then this war of mine now those are two games i'm incredibly high on and if these games were just offered for free i think people would be incredibly excited but because they have egs tied to it obviously there's going to be that inherent pushback 
And I see it whenever I talk about free game offerings. That's why I've kind of stopped talking about EGS free game offerings. I thought it was important to talk about this because they're legitimately going another level. But whenever I talk about the EGS free game offering, as opposed to say a Steam free game offering or a Uplay free game offering, there's always this pushback in people saying, hey, it's on the Epic Game Store. I have no interest in this. This isn't necessarily to promote the free games, but I wanted to more so talk about the ramifications of them investing even more because now you're once again raising that investment investment threshold. However, it should be noted that both of these games are being published by 11-bit studios. However, from an 11-bit studio standpoint, you'd have to think, hey, if I'm going to be offering two free games, that's additional compensation. Again, I don't know that for a fact. I don't have access to those numbers, but nonetheless, that's what I would think. So Epic Game Store still... How long has it been? Seven months? They are still investing so much money and we still don't have an indication as far as how well this is doing from a financial standpoint. But if they're raising the bar over and over again with the free games, with all of the exclusives, I'd have to think that they're not getting a sizable amount of people to transfer on over. Or maybe it's a case of this is actually working and now they're really starting to see returns. Unfortunately, they don't really release any numbers as far as how these games are doing. How well did Metro Exodus really sell? They use this weird verb like it sold more than Metro Last Light, I believe is what they said. Well, you can't really make that comparison because Metro Last Light was released all the way back in 2013. And 2013 was a time period that one, Metro wasn't as big as it is now. Two, PC gaming as a whole isn't as big as it is now. So using a metric like that really didn't make a lot of sense. But that tells us a lot in that they're not comfortable in releasing those specific numbers. Again, that's speculation on my part, but one would have to think that. Again, the free game offerings next week are going to be Moonlighter and This War of Mine. Those are two games that are very, very good. Moonlighter is a really cool action RPG with roguelite elements. It has elements of shopkeeping, then it has elements of a traditional roguelike. It's a great game, awesome pixel graphics. It has a 74 on Metacritic, a very strong reception on Steam as well. Very positive based on 704 recent user reviews, 94% positive. And This War of Mine is one of the best games I've ever played. That is no hyperbole. This War of Mine is... Is absolutely awesome and 11-bit studios did a great job on that game and it's widely recognized to be a tremendous game overwhelmingly positive reception based on 1206 recent steam user reviews and overall based on 43,543 steam user reviews 94% positive now you would also have to wonder what is the exchange epic games is offering here is it a lot of money i don't really know just on the basis that moonlighter is a game that's been on humble monthly this war of mine has been in several humble bundles so this may be a case where it's not a significant investment investment to them and them acquiring these smaller games. Hey, for them, it's just we can promote a lot of free games and that can get people over and that can win people over. But I've noticed anecdotally just from my comment section based on what you guys say on Twitter, whenever I talk about something from the Epic Game Store, whether it be a free game, you guys dismiss it. And if it's an exclusive, a lot of you guys in the comment section, the imperative comment that I see over and over again, Mush, what are you talking about? This game is an Epic Game Store exclusive. All I heard was this game is Pirate Bay exclusive. And and yeah, that is definitely a reoccurring thought amongst you guys. Now, my audience is only a small sample size compared to the overall PC community. But if my small sample size of, say, 10,000 people that are watching this video feel that way, then the overarching narrative is probably somewhat similar. That's at least what I would think. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What does EGS have to do to win you over? Because at this point, it seems like they're throwing a lot of money at publishers, a lot of money at developers, acquiring these exclusives, acquiring free games games, now offering free games every week, now offering two free games. Again, Limbo is free right now, but Moonlighter and This War of Mine will be free next week. It's a lot to digest, and I want to hear from you guys as well. Does this win you over? Because I think a regular standpoint that it's not going to win a lot of people over just because I think people will take free games if it's available on Steam, if it's available on their platform of choice. However, EGS has that inherent barrier, and I think people would rather pay, say, 99 cents or $2 for a game instead of having it free on the Epic Game Store. And in the case of a lot of these games, a game like Limbo, a game like This War of Mine, those games can be had for 99 cents to a couple bucks. So really, when you talk strictly value, what are you offering here? You're not offering a lot when it comes to value just because these games could be had for very cheap. But let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Definitely interested to hear from you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. 
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.